Good morning RV Nation, it's Jim here and I am in the Outer Banks of North Carolina and look how beautiful it is. Extremely peaceful here. Today I wanted to go over some of the Go Power equipment that I got. I got a 3000 watt power inverter, uh, pure sine wave. Right now, I do have the settings set for it to turn on when it detects 80 watts in a power saving mode. I wired it direct to a 30 amp plug so I could just plug the RV directly into it. I have approximately 650 amp hours of battery. So if you want to take a look, So right there is the Go Power inverter. I do have two glass mat batteries uh, in that compartment there. And then when we come around to the side, I have two more batteries in here. And of course them are vented. Up top, you can see where I wired in the 30 amp plug. I have the charge controller right next to it. For the solar and I have 200 watts of solar they're technically not portable solar but I made them that way um, just because I didn't want to put anything rigid on the roof I was gonna go with the flexible solar panels on the roof so eventually I will put 600 more watts up there so I do have 200 watts of solar here and you can see the cord I just have that I just have that going directly into the 30 amp plug that I installed right off of that inverter hardwired it in and then in the back here right there I have 400 watts uh, wind turbine and as you can see when we first started this project we just used a uh, one and a half inch PVC pipe and here in the North Carolina winds, it was flexing an awful lot. We wound up keeping the PVC pipe hooked to the windmill, and then we took a one and three quarter inch steel pipe and put that around the PVC pipe, put rubber bushings in it, so that way we wouldn't get any vibration inside the uh, camper. And as you can see, there's no flexing at all in that pipe hooked right to the side ladder and as you can see I just used uh, fence gate connectors so that way I could go ahead and set that up by myself so basically I'll just lift it up you set it in the hose and then I strap it down just for extra stability so today is the first day that we're actually going to test the system uh, we started at 9 o'clock in the morning and my batteries were right at 12.69 volts. Um, once I switched the power inverter to power saving mode, everything started charging the batteries back up and now they're at 13.02 or something like that. Um, I'm going to check that here in a minute. But you can see, you get a little bit of noise from outside but it's not noticeable really inside the house at all now this is the toy hauler model so we do have a 10 foot garage section that absorbs all that sound really um, any type of little vibration that we get so right now you can look at So all the lights on the inverter right now are saying everything is working the way it should. So we will give this a test and I will come back later on today in a few hours and uh, let you know how well it's working as far as the 600 watts of power that I'm generating. Um, is that keeping the batteries charged while she's in there vacuuming? 
uh, has a TV on, stuff of that nature. So I'll stop back later on this afternoon and give you an update. Okay, so she's been in there running the uh, whole house vac system for in here for maybe about 10, 15 minutes or so. And as you can see, well, and as you can see, the uh, votes are uh, 12.42 volts. So, the uh, charge controller up there is showing, the charge controller up there is showing that the solar panels are charging the batteries. Um, again, that's, the solar panels are 200 watts, 100 watt each. Um, they're kind of dirty right now because they, we got a good sand, but you can kind of see there, I don't know if you can see it, but they're kind of dirty right now. So, uh, I'm going to clean them off and see if we can get a little more juice out of them. Maybe have to clean them once a day uh, here with all the sand blowing and whatnot. But I will uh, check that as soon as she shuts off the vac system. I'm going to go ahead and see how fast it will recover. Now you can see it's staying at consistent 12.42 uh, volts for the battery bank. So I think we're going to be doing okay. Uh, so again, I'll come back in a little bit. Um, it's 10.07 right now, and uh, we're running everything as if uh, we were plugged into uh, the shore power. So we'll see how things go. Okay, she just shut down the uh, VAC system, and I was sitting outside, so I heard it shut down. So of course there was a load on the batteries, obviously. But we can look here. Now we're up to 12.65, 12.65 volts, uh, and it's kind of rocking in between 12.65, 12.66. Uh, right now it's steady at 12.66. So I think, uh, you know, it was at 12.45 or whatever it was, just on account of there was a load on the batteries, a constant load. So I think we're gonna be pretty good um, as far as the battery setup we have. Again, we only have the four batteries, two glass mat batteries and two regular ones. And I know that I should have uh, got everything, you know, kind of matching. But again, this is just a trial and error type basis and just to see how good it's going to work. So we'll come back. It's uh, 10 09 in the morning right now. So we'll come back maybe in an hour, maybe two hours, and then kind of give you an update from that point. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to go ahead and keep that meter going so that way I can monitor it. And if everything goes good, then I'll probably wind up getting a uh, panel for inside that I can monitor my battery voltage and everything else from inside. Right now, outside is fine for me um, because we do have shore power here. And this is just a test on how good it's going to work, if it's even going to work. So, so far... I have hope that everything is going to work perfectly fine, but we'll find out later on when we kick on the TVs and the sun starts to go down and we go inside. We don't have any of the air conditioners running right now because there's no need for it. It's only 80 degrees. Today is going to be the high. Um, when we were back in Erie, Michigan, um, I did turn on the air conditioner for five or 10 minutes or so just to make sure that that power inverter was going to run it, and it did. Uh, it ran that and the microwave at the same time. And it's a, a Furion a convection slash microwave combo type thing. And it ran that stuff perfectly fine. But like I said, I only ran that for about 10, 15 minutes. And then I shut it down just to see if it would power it. So maybe later on today, we'll uh, do some tests on that. And we'll go from there. So I'll come back in a couple of hours and give you an update. All right, it's uh, 1130. So we'll go ahead and check these batteries. Right now they're reading 12.82 volts. So she's in the house uh, doing some more cleaning. I'm going to go in and uh, assist in the cleaning and probably turn on the TV for a little bit.
and see what happens so everything seems to be working the way it should and we'll go from there good afternoon rv nation yesterday i tested out the uh, go power 3000 watt power inverter that i installed in the rv i have four batteries approximately 650 amp hours something like that 400 watt wind turbine 200 watt solar panels um here's the solar panels there um they were uh you know flush mount or rigid mount i didn't mount them i just left them like that so i can move them around at any rate we did get oh it got dark at any rate we did get the entire day running off of our four batteries about 650 amp hours with the wind turbine and the two solar panels out that was uh that was us using the microwave um i did do a make a pot of coffee we had lights on we had the tv on we were living like we normally would live last night it was kind of hot so when we got back we had went to the store we came back and i put on the air conditioner to see because i know the power inverter will run the air conditioner i already tested that out but i wanted to see if i could go ahead and run it throughout the night um, as soon as i turned it on i came out and checked the batteries and the batteries were down to 12.4 volts so i'm most certain i could have ran it for at least a half hour 45 minutes to cool it down but i didn't want to take the chance and i had to be up early this morning so i went ahead and plugged in um, i have nothing going on the next two or three days um, other than just enjoying the scenery and uh, heading to the beach to go get some seashells and stuff like that so is what i'm going to do is i'm going to test it in the afternoon i'm going to turn on an air conditioner and leave it run until the batteries get to 50 percent i'm going to do that during the day when i'm utilizing the sun as well as that solar uh, i'm sorry as well as the uh, wind turbine and see if that will last pretty much the whole day so i'll do another update on that and i may wind up adding uh some of the flexible solar panels to the roof um i, I do want to do that i want to add at least 600 more watts but i'm just going to see how long this will last us and maybe i can just get away with adding a few more batteries if uh, this is going to be sufficient as far as keeping that charge up so i will do another update later on about uh running the air conditioner off of the batteries and see how long i can go with that so so until then if you can please give me a thumbs up on the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and there's a little bell next to the subscribe button go ahead and click on that bell and you will get updates uh notifications when i post another video so until then we'll see you guys later